It sure was a hot day in southern Colorado. Once again, we had a high of 92 in Colorado Springs, and it was the third day in a row with heat advisories. Up to 100 in Pueblo today. Our records still stand where they are at 96 and 104. So we have a pretty hazy evening tonight. We've seen some wildfire smoke filter back into southern Colorado from four fires now that are burning in northern Colorado, the largest being the Alexander Mountain Fire, over 6,000 acres. 1500 acres at the Stone Canyon fire, two new fires near Boulder and near Chatfield Reservoir. So at Chatfield Reservoir, Rhonda was there today. She saw the smoke and the air tanker dropping retardant there. There's multiple aircraft at the quarry fire and there's many personnel at the Alexander Mountain fire. Thank you to my friend Patrick for sharing this video. There's 270 fire personnel at this fire plus 17 aircraft. So crews are hitting these fires hard, hoping to get them under control. And with the added smoke in the environment, we do have air quality alerts for smoke and ozone towards the Denver Metro wildfire smoke in the Eastern Plains. Just ozone for now here in Southern Colorado, but we are likely to see this wildfire smoke continue to filter south once we get a north or an easterly turn to our winds. So we'll be monitoring air quality getting worse as we still see fire activity through the rest of this week and under high pressure the air is pretty stagnant, so you'll see things hang around for a lot longer. And in the extended outlook, I'm going through time. This high pressure stays right over Colorado. Underneath that high, we generally have sinking air and the sunshine underneath the high will also help to increase surface ozone production. Plus the stagnant air keeps pollutants trapped at the surface like smoke and like the ozone that's likely to develop. So air quality likely to continue to remain poor. Tonight will drop to the 50s and 60s. Tomorrow is gonna be another warm day with 80s and 90s for the first day of August. Now, I know I mentioned that high pressure is generally hot and dry, but we're going to get a little bit of moisture trapped under this high as well. And there is a chance for a few spotty thunderstorms with that little bit of water vapor that we'll have in the next few days. So on Thursday, we're going to start out sunny, quick warm up 80s and 90s, but there is a little bit of moisture to work with. So a couple afternoon storms are possible. They will be very hit or miss, but if if you don't see rain, you'll likely at least see some clouds to keep you cool for the later part of the day. So not as hot through Thursday and Friday, thanks to some extra clouds and a rain chance in the afternoon, but the air quality is still likely to remain poor. Ozone will be at unhealthy levels. Tomorrow smoke will be moderate. We'll have a dry but toasty weekend and next week I see some better moisture returning, especially Tuesday, Wednesday. So for Pueblo, not looking at triple digits looking ahead, but mid to upper 90s, we're staying hot. We'll have a isolated thunderstorm possible for tomorrow and Friday and same goes for Canyon City. 90s carry us through the next seven days. Some better moisture will get wrapped around that high early next week. And finally for Woodland Park, almost a daily chance of a thunderstorm, but they're very, very hit or miss, very isolated. Temperatures will stay warm in the 80s through Tuesday.